This is Dwayne with Headwater Seat Covers. Uh, so for those who don't know, uh, the new Rams, the new 2019 Rams, uh, has come out with two uh, different backrests. Uh, some of the backrests have a rounded uh, edge underneath the headrests. Then some of them uh, have a dip underneath the headrest. This is a video for the 402040 with the non-opening middle bottom. Uh, but this one's got the dip in the seat. Uh, for the majority of the video, you'll actually see bucket seats, uh, but the seats for the 402040 install the exact same way. Um, and then you'll see the installation for the middle section, the 20% section at the end there. Uh, this particular model has what we call 402040 seat, meaning equal parts 40 on driver and passenger and then a smaller 20% section. Um, this particular model has what we call opening console, three drink holders um, in the front, and that simply will lift up. And this also has the non-opening middle seat bottom. If you have an opening seat bottom, I have a lever right here. This one is just material that goes all the way down to the floor. Okay. Um, tools you're gonna need for this process are just a small flat screwdriver. We're going to use a scissors to trim excess material. Then we're going to just need uh, paper towels and uh, some rubbing alcohol and we'll use that to prepare the surface of the plastic. We're just going to put a couple of Velcros, adhesive Velcros on the inside of that for you. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, um, the seats have airbags on the side. So it's imperative that you get the backrest on the proper side. The driver's side will have a label on the back side uh, indicating the driver's side. We provide for the airbag same way that the factory does is we sew that with a little tiny breakaway thread. Um, use caution when you're installing. Everything underneath the seat is pretty darn sharp. Um, the seat moves on the seat slides. Uh, the seat slides are usually what has the grease. So when your hands come from underneath the seat, just keep a rag handy and look at your hands before you start touching your seat cover because it's likely you have some grease on your hands you could easily smear onto your seat cover. Um, the easiest way to prepare the seats for installation, you want to completely clean them and remove all the dirt and the grit from the seats. Um, the best way to take off pet hair or even uh, dust and debris is just clear packaging tape. Um, so strip off about a two foot section, rub your fingers into that. You might be able to move it once, usually. You throw it away, strip off another piece, uh, rub your fingers into it, and, and it'll take all that stuff off just for pennies. You have this carpeted flap that wraps under the back edge of the seat onto one of these elastics. So feel for where that elastic is under here. And we'll go all the way under here. See right underneath that piece of plastic right there. You're just going to push that forward here and release that up. Now we're going to take a look here. You'll have a metal bar that runs the full width. This is very sharp. We've already taken electrical tape and taped the top part and the bottom part of this before the installation just so we don't cut our hands and just so that doesn't cut our seat cover. Okay? We are going to grab the headrest covers and carefully open up that Velcro. You'll notice on the inside part of each piece, it's labeled what this is. The headrest abbreviation is H. Uh, we're going to take that. We're going to slide it over the headrest while the headrest is still on the vehicle with the extending tabs to the front. We're going to slide that over. Now it's really, really tight. Okay, right? See it compressing here? Just take that and saw it sideways back and forth. getting it down into position. Real key, that, that, that sawing motion back and forth to help let that down. Now we're gonna release the headrest and then what I'm gonna do is just recline the backrest, lift the headrest up, depress both push buttons while you're lifting up at the same time, headrest. Slides right out. You want to make sure you lift that up evenly and don't get it sideways, otherwise you could break those pieces of plastic. Okay, now we have the headrest off. We're going to work that. We want to form the headrest and line this thing up to the seams that are on the seat itself. We'll line the, the lines of this headrest cover. You want to line that right up 
with the seams that are on the seat. That's all looking good. Velcros just tuck right underneath. Connect. They don't have to be so tight. Connect. There we go. Set that aside. We're working the backrest. We're going to install the passenger top. As you look on the inside right again, all the pieces are labeled on the inside right. This one, PT. On the inside right, you notice there's no Velcros on the front edge of uh, the seat cover. We're going to use a couple of pieces of pinch welt to hold that on. So with each backrest, you should have a couple of these guys sent in with each. Okay, the hook Velcro is going to go to the back side of the seat. So we'll do. Slide this up and over. You slide the seat all the way forward and then tip that backrest all the way ahead to give you a lot of room to work around behind it. So I'm going to just work it down each side just a little bit. Real snug, very tight. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Again, like the headrest, what we want to do here is we want to line up the seams of the seat cover to the seams that are on your seat. I can feel right now, here's my outside seam, here's the seam of that seat. I need to move this cover, I need to adjust it in a little bit. Look at how that smoothed that right out. Now we want to form the top of the seat cover to the top of the seat. I'm going to start on the inside edge over here. So we're going to pull that down, get it pulled down, tuck it in on the inside edge there. A little piece of plastic underneath here, we're going to tuck that seat cover behind it. Now, we're going to tuck the seat cover fabric underneath the plastic of the headrest. You want to do that starting on the push button side over here so we don't damage that button. See? Button there, cover's underneath. Push button's here. I'm going to do this push button side. There we go. Done. Now, I'm going to go to the front of this. Okay, I'm going to pull down hard, get everything tightened up. Make sure everything's fitting nice and snug up on top of the seat. That looks really nice. Now, you're going to carefully tuck this in to the back edge. I can feel that metal bar. I'm going to pull that back out. I can feel that metal bar, and what I want to do is I want to tuck this seat cover around that metal bar. So, and basically, you have to just push down on the seat bottom that bar lies across the back of the seat so I'm having to push the material down and slide it under the bar another reason why that thing is taped up because right now I'd be a bloody mess by trying that okay here's the metal bar that we have taped up there's that material I was just tucking underneath it from the front edge of the seat cover I'm gonna pull that out nice and easy I want to get the whole thing down there we go. Now we have the whole thing pulled out. You want to make sure you have tape on both sides so that seat cover is not going to come across that metal and get cut. Here's where these guys come into play. These little things are pinch weld. What we're going to do is we're going to take this cover, we're going to wrap it up around that piece of metal, pulling it tight, and press one of these over the top of it. To do that, I'm going to lean my head against, but I'm going to pull this really hard. Both hands, pull that tight. I'm going to push it up and tuck it right behind that bar. Okay, tucked right behind that bar. That's holding it real nice. That thing just goes right over the top. How easy is that? Okay. The other side. Pull hard. Tuck up. Tuck inside. Grab your piece of pinch welt. Put that thing right into place right there okay we're going to install the passenger bottom first thing you want to do is just disconnect these velcros these buckles are going to be hooked to the back of the seat and they're going to fasten to the back edge of the seat cover and what that's going to do is keep your seat cover from scrolling around so take those off just set them behind the seat i'm going to just gently remove the velcros from the cover long velcro is going to go to the front this fuzzy strip is going to go to the back Okay, we have an elastic to replace the one that we just removed from this. Uh, the long Velcro straps on the seat cover go to the front. So we're going to place that on. And just like all the rest of the seat cover, we're going to line up the seams of this seat cover to the seams that are on your seat here. Okay? 
Let me flip that around. This is going to tuck behind the plastic right here. A little bit. You want to use extra caution when you're reaching your hands underneath the seat and routing these Velcros underneath the seat. Everything under the seat has grease on it, and every metal edge underneath there is really sharp, so really use caution when you're reaching your hands underneath. Okay, what we want to do here is we want to line up the seams of the seat cover to the seams that are on your seat, and as we're working around the front corners here, I'm going to work the fabric that's inside the, the seat cover. I'm going to work it to this outside edge. So see how that gets that nice and, nice and round look in there? Now I'm going to take and work that all the way around the front of the seat and along the other side too. I'm just taking my thumbs and I'm pushing that material outward. It just helps that fit so much nicer. There we go. I'm going to tuck this back. I'm going to keep sweeping it back. Everything looks pretty good along the front. Okay, I'm going to carefully tuck this thing in and we're going to go be underneath that metal bar that we had for the top. And just carefully tuck that in all the way along the outside. Here, we can leave that sit for now. We've got this nice and tucked in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this Velcro and we're going to fold that thing in half lengthwise. So, it's going to just stiffen that up just like a ruler, okay? Right where this is sewn on is right where that Velcro has to go straight down the cover, okay? And it'll appear down, down below, okay? Likewise, the inside one, take this inside one, fold it in half. The inside one has a bigger gap to route under, and where these are going to go is this Velcro here is going to go at a 45 degree angle under the seat, and it's going to connect up to the back edge where that, uh, that loop Velcro is that we just tucked under. So fold this in half, I'm going to tuck this guy right under, real easy tuck job, just follow the cloth, and you'll feel there's a big metal brace there, you can go right to the bottom of the cloth, and you're going to tuck that Velcro. It's going to go right under. Okay, it's a good time too to uh, go ahead and put your elastic back over your seat belt that we provided for you. And we'll lastly, or next, we're going to do the same thing with the folding of the Velcro in half. Okay, then I'm going to route these things along the outside edge here. And then the outside edge here, what we want to do is we're routing these, we want to keep that all the way up towards the top of the seat. With the driver's seat being electric, lift that seat all the way up into the air. Okay, that'll free up all the controls. But this has to get routed where it's not interfering with any of the wires that are underneath the seat. So we're going to route this straight to the back edge, and as we get it to the back, we'll open it up, and this hook Velcro will stick to that loop Velcro on the back edge. Okay, let's go ahead and poke it through. So we have this folded in half, stiff as a ruler. I'm going to take and look right down here. I'm going to look my way all the way back to the back edge. And I can route that back. I'm going to move the seat ahead a little bit. I can just feel for that Velcro. Oh, there it is, right there. There's our Velcro right there. Now I can just temporarily just touch that Velcro to the loop Velcro that's on the back side of the seat, just to hold it there. We'll, we'll do the finish tightening up next. Pull out the inside one, hold it in half. Stick your head in here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm sweeping my hand down the front of this seat cover while I'm pulling on this. Pull that tight. Okay. Here's our side Velcro. By where the seatbelt is, we can just touch that in there. We're going for a big long one. Make sure that that thing isn't hitting any wires. Go ahead and pull that tight. Touch that to the back edge. Okay, you're going to reach in between the gap here. Feel for that Velcro that we tucked down on the outside edge. You're just going to pull that thing right through. Look at my hand, make sure I don't have any grease on it. Now I'm going to take my hand forward and slide it down the outside edge of the seat here. Tighten that up. I'm going to take that Velcro, press it right to there. These guys, these buckles are going to keep your seat cover from squirreling around. So we're going to go right into the nice metal edge right here underneath the seat. Clicked onto there, right up to the back edge. 
nice metal edge right here. Maybe I clicked underneath. I'm going to move this one over just a little bit. Here. That's clicked underneath. Now I'll take my scissors and trim. So when you're going to trim, pinch your fingers where you're going to trim, pull it away from the seat cover, trim the excess, put it back on the seat cover. Okay, we're going to connect up the, uh, the elastics. Got to kind of feel around underneath there for where those guys were hooking up. They seem to go a little bit to the inside. Hook that one. Come forward, hook that one. They're both hooked up. Lastly, we're going to pull down on this seat cover pretty good. And we're going to just press this hook Velcro right into that fuzzy carpet. All right. You'll notice that we have a center seat belt here and uh, it goes through a, an elastic right here. So we're going to have to temporarily disconnect this so we can push this down through because our seat cover will have elastic on it. Um, so when we're going to install that middle seat bottom, we're going to temporarily remove those. Okay. Then we have this little push button here you can see. Um, that'll release the shoulder belt. We just push that in. Release the shoulder belt and that'll go to the back of the cab. Some people uh, prefer to run with it like that until they have a center passenger they can hook it up. And then we'll just simply uh, release that. So the MB is going to go to the back side on this model. And we're just going to fit that right over the front. with all of our seat covers, the real goal to getting them put into place correctly is to line up the seams of our seat cover to the seams that are on your seat. You can see that they're going to follow uh, and they're going to match really closely. Same thing for the backrests and the seat bottoms. So I'm going to pull that over. We're going to line up the seams to the seams that are on your seat. Get that all nice and equalized. And come back over here and tuck this in. Now, at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and fold the, the console down and then tuck this piece of material in here. Okay, we're going to pull this back through and just get it snug. We're not going to stick it down yet, but so we're just going to get it snug. And I'm going to probably set it up there a little bit out of the way. Now I'm going to grab this side of the cover. Notice the uh, hook Velcro there. I'm going to take this side. Make sure that it's pulled down all the way. And you can give it a pretty good tug. I'm going to take my hand and slide it down along the seat a little bit. And then I'm going to just take this hook and press it to the fuzz on the side of the seat. We have um, a 1x12 hook Velcro here. What we're going to do is I'm going to tuck that down, and that's just going to go at an angle around to the back side. So right here, I'm just going to tuck this down. And I'm reaching right now under that middle seat a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm going to reach my hand carefully underneath there. There's that hook velcro. And just to give it a little tension on the side. It doesn't have to be that tight. You just pull that around, press it to the fuzz on the back side. Then you can reconnect that velcro. Likewise, I'll do the same for this side. I'm going to just take this Velcro from the side, pull it tight, and press that right in. Take my side Velcro, get that tucked down in there, and connect that right up. And lastly, we're just going to go ahead and then we're going to take this um, piece of hook Velcro and press it down. Now we've noticed through the years that uh, some models may not have this fuzzy carpet here, in which case the seat cover is going to have loop Velcro sewn on top here. And those side Velcros, that these little side 45 guys, they're going to hook right up to the back edge of that seat cover and that'll hold that in place. So lastly, we're just going to press this down to the fuzzy carpet right on the back side of the seat okay lastly we'll go ahead and put the uh, seat belts through the elastic that we've provided on the seat cover for you center elastic there and we'll move on to the console part of the installation 
Next we'll uh, install the console on there and just keep in mind the big opening here goes right over the, uh, the three drink holders there. So to install that we're just going to lift that up a little bit. Slide the front of that cover on. And keep in mind it's going to be snug. It's going to be snug. So, you know what, I'm going to turn on this. Okay. Might be easier to turn and actually face the console as you're putting this on. So we're going to turn and put that on. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm working the seam, this fabric, this material here. I'm, I want to work that to the outside. That's what I'm trying to do here. All along the front, because we don't want to have that showing there. So I'm going to work that to the outside here. And then I'm going to lift this uh, console up. I'm going to grab onto the left and the right sides. I'm going to kind of pull it down into position. And again, what we're looking to do is we're looking to line up the seams of our seat cover to the seams that are on your seat. All along the front here, there's also the seam of this material. Where this piece is sewn to this piece, there's salvage on the inside. We want to work that to the inside, up over here. Just makes the corners nice and round. I'm going to take and pull this down, form this corner in. Everything's looking really good there. Next we're going to take and tuck the uh, seat cover behind this plastic of the hinge here. And we're going to do that on the bottom. I'm going to come over and just tuck this side, same way. Tuck that in. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to hold my hand in there. I'm going to fold this down so I don't lose any ground there. I'm going to take the back side of this console cover. I'm going to pull it up nice and tight. At this point we can open up this console lid. Now you notice there's a little bit of hook velcro here. It sticks to that magic fuzz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up. And I'm going to hook this up to the fuzz. Now, keep in mind here, here's a, a very important aspect of this. We want to keep this gap the same coming along the front, okay? So as you get this pulled into position, you want to have about the same amount here to here. Uh, well, guys, sometimes we'll get it crooked. If it's on our crooked, we'll have this pulled over all the way tight and this big gap over here. Um, you just want to, want to equalize that. Easiest way of doing that, I just kind of pull on it, make sure they're roughly equal. So I'm going to hook this first one with the hook Velcro. So you want to tuck it in behind that little piece of plastic there. Give it a little pull, and then fasten that Velcro. Um, we're going to go ahead and fasten so we have a small little half-inch piece of Velcro that's going to fasten the carpet right here. Also another one on this side. Um, we'll feed those Velcros through. At this point, you'll notice you have a couple extras on here. That's in case you stick some down and they don't, they don't uh, immediately go on. We'll pull those off, set those aside. So what we're going to do is we're going to tip the Velcros inside the cavity and kind of take note of where they're going to lay. We're looking here, here. This one's going to hit here. This one will hit here. What you want to do, what we're going to do, is we're going to prepare the surface of the plastic to accept the adhesive Velcros with rubbing alcohol. We're going to do this by first scrubbing hard while it's wet and then wiping it dry. So it's kind of a timing thing. you got to do it kind of fairly fast. So as this sits, this Velcro is going to want to sit here. I'll just take that and I'm going to go right inside and I'm going to really scrub hard on the side of that plastic. And then while it's wet, wipe it dry with the dry part of the towel. What that's going to do is uh, remove all that residue. If you just wipe it, okay, what that's going to do is if you just wipe off the plastic and let it air dry, it'll leave all the residue in that on that plastic and then the Velcro won't adhere as good. So just tip them inside, scrub hard where they're going to lay, dry it off. Now, if the Velcros do not stick, which is very possible in a lot of new models, or if somebody has uh, put armor all or any kind of fabric type of or a material protectant on there, um, it's going to inhibit it from sticking. So what you want to do at that point is you're going to have to clean this with soapy water 
and then get on here with the rubbing alcohol. To adhere these, I'm just going to give very, very slight pressure up. You don't want to pull down and, and try to fasten that Velcro with a lot of pressure. The Velcros can only withstand about 10 pounds of pressure, of sideways pressure. Um, we do use high heat Velcro brand adhesive Velcro. As you notice here, I press that on there. I'm pushing in there pretty hard to get that to stick. If in fact you put on the Velcros and they're starting to peel off, stop and don't go any farther. If you find you've cut yourself short on Velcros, you just kind of went around and pretty soon they're starting to peel off. Usually they won't stick once they've peeled off, but if you can take your spares, you can have a one inch square, just cut that in half so you have a half inch square. That's really all you need to hold is a half inch. So I got that down, that's where it's gonna go. So you basically, you're gonna peel that off very important not to touch this with your fingers because the oil from your hands will keep it from sticking as well. Okay. Back edge simply just needs to be pulled up to the back of the hinge where it's at. I can see here. If you pull that too far forward, it's going to inhibit your hinge and your, your lid won't want to stay open as well. So I just want to leave that just a touch shy. Peel and stick. Give that a good hard push down. Looks like we have good adhesion. This high temp Velcro is good to 140 degrees, so as hot as the inside of your vehicle is going to get, they're going to stick on there. Next, we'll install the console lid on this. So I'll just carefully uh, disconnect those Velcros, and what I do is I'm just going to lay them off to the side. You will really try to connect to each other if you don't make an effort to keep them apart. So that's what I do is just open them up, set them to the side. You'll notice that they're all one inch wide except for this one. Again, here on this side, same as the console, there's a, a real narrow gap for, uh, for the Velcro to feed. Um, and on the inside right, as you'll see in the back edge, you're going to notice there is the L, which stands for lid. So again, inside, uh, back right. So what I do is I'm just going to grab this with all the Velcro here, and I'm just going to take it and turn it all in one motion. And if you do that right, uh, it'll kind of help keep it all from sticking. Okay, firstly, we're going to take the back corner um, where the L was, we're gonna we're gonna hook that over, pull that forward, and that's gonna hold that on there. So I'm gonna uh, take and hold this cover down with my forearm, and here again, see where the seam is, the material where it's sewed, sewed together. I want to push that to the outside. So here, I'm just gonna take that, okay, and push that to the outside here. All the while, I'm holding this cover on. Okay, I'm gonna pull that over this front corner. Now it's on there, semi. Oh, we're gonna have to redo this, pull it over this corner. Remember guys, this is gonna be really tight going on. They have to be tight, otherwise they're gonna move around on you. Okay, so we have it held into place. Okay. Now, I'm gonna lift this up, but I'm gonna still hold the front of it on here. And I'm gonna sneak that Velcro right through the edge of that seam. Pull that fairly tight, and I'm just going to hook that on there to the corresponding Velcro right on the front, just a, just a little bit, because I'll end up reconnecting that. Okay, I'll we'll pull the front side here. Have the other Velcro over here. I'm going to want to pull this forward a little bit more. I want the front edge of this cover to be pretty close to the front edge of, of the lid there. I'll pull this up. This one I'm going to tighten up and I'm going to connect here. The best way, see how they like to stick? The best way of connecting these is to hold on to the ends and then connect. Okay, so now we have the two front to back. Here's a nice way of tightening those up too. So you, I'm just basically going to take this and just give it a little pull. Pulling the Velcro, it just tightened up a little bit. So then I'm going to take it and take it loose, 
Here again, the best way to tighten this, hold on to the ends. Fasten it there, fasten it there. I'll go ahead and move on to the bottom side. That bottom Velcro, and I'll pull that tight, and I can see that's getting right nicely to the edge of the fabric there. Pull that tight, fasten. Tight, fasten, and complete. Oh. Okay, and one more complete. Go ahead and fold that down. See how she looks. Should just be, should just be super tight, as they say. Um, you know, bounce a quarter off that thing. Is how tight that should be.